all right what's up everybody it's your girl ashes the rebirth so came on real quick to do a little reading as spirit um has me up this morning um to deliver these messages um i just want to open by by saying that i'm grateful to spirit for opening up opportunity for uh making clear uh my vision for um procuring my gifting and so we're we're here for the divine feminine spirit where is the divine feminine going you have these two cards here okay we've got spark and we've got compass all right the bottom of the deck we've got encouragement okay so spirit speak to us divine feminine in this moment where are we going these are map journey cards where is it that the divine feminine is going in this moment what is their attention on our attention on where is it that we are going um, um spirit says don't forget the message that i think came out for the divine masculine but because of the reflection of one to another this card is coming out remember this came out if you're following with the divine masculine um, the unexpected visitors card so i'm just gonna let this sit over here um and then we'll deal with that when spirit says so um so as of right now let's deal with this here is what i want to see about spirit um so if it all make clear before we begin um this compass um, why it's in its position why it's why it's not because I usually don't do cards you know that are upside down and all that like I don't um, so we're just going to clarify that spirit really quick we got the spark we got encouragement here as well Ooh. Ooh, okay, spirit, come through. So the compass upside down like that is all about, you guys remember when the Divine Masculine came through. Um, and when the Divine Masculine came through, there was like this um, uh, energy of, it, it was a spiritual growth card, but it was this energy of the hangman. This is the same message that spirit is saying. If you guys have been following, um, I, I'm still going to pull a clear. Uh, clarification card here but um spirit is saying this is like the surrender of it all this is like the hangman kind of space this is transitioning from the masculine being in that position to them pursuing and now you being in the hangman kind of space meaning waiting for it to come right you are an open vessel right this is i also get a, a very feeling of like a a, a clamshell you know like opening up i feel the idea of this reflecting one another like the masculine feminine and so we're transitioning now the feminine is is actually putting in um the work of, of being very clear right about what it is that i want no doubt in the space anymore i release the need to know all the answers this is divine feminine is moving forward this is the divine feminine not moving forward in a sense of pursuing the masculine because again right we're waiting for it to come in um but but this is I, I don't need to know all the answers because I know some of those answers are locked in the divine masculine in that balance between it. Right. I know that some of the answers are spirit is, is helping me along the journey to to figure these things out. I know um, that, that I don't need to know all the answers because I, there's some, you know, sparks of energy and creativity that kind of comes in when the masculine and the feminine are paired in union as they should be right so it dispels all doubt these signs that spirit is giving to us that divine masculine is giving to us to let us know there's an ending of a thing so that a new thing can come in you got double fives here um you got five here with this reflective card you also have five here with the unexpected visitor card that divine masculine was like well don't forget about this too right because some of them were shining light on things but some of those visitors were visitors that we need to be very clear about um, if we needed to kind of take them from um, our area or if, you know, this was something that needed to be rebirthed. So um, the Divine Masculine is the protector, right? So the Divine Masculine is making sure that you're very aware of that thing, that there's a deadening of some things, but then there's also this reflection. So any kind of power or courage you need that 
that may need to, to do away with some of these things or dispel any of that little bit of doubt for some of you that still have some. The Divine Masculine is saying, you know, in spirit that we've already told you that there's going to always be signs and signs and signs to follow because spirit is full aware of how the divine feminine works and how the divine masculine works this here spark this is divine feminine coming through the room speaking finally because for the past couple of days we've been waiting for divine feminine to really step into the power of who you are do you see how unafraid how unattached to anybody's approval she is this is just in the moment of that creativity she's literally playing you know this is her blood sweat and tears here this is her life's work here this is her essence here. This is everything about her aura and essence is out and it starts to spark because now the divine masculine isn't in the hangman position anymore. It's you sitting and waiting because he's coming now. He's in full-blown pursuit. So the opportunity is in full-blown pursuit. That you, you started a spark now. You stayed in tune to yourself, divine feminine. Y your whole essence is out here now, right? Now you've emitted a vibration and so the masculine can come in. Spirit's like, yeah, she ready. <laughs> okay, shout out Tiffany Haddish, right? She ready. All right. Um, so let's put that back there. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Now, if we can dig in a little bit about this encouragement here in the grounding space for us. Uh, this is another sign from the divine masculine, right? Th this is an exchange of there'll always be reciprocal encouragement. If, if there was ever any, any doubt... I'm coming through even in the color scheme of things, right? Other than the color that you give off and you emit, everything about the Divine Masculine has been solid colors, right? Very grounding colors so that we can remove all doubt from you. This is the number nine. That's all, you know, y'all know when that comes out, that's that's all things my ancestors. Nine is, is, is also about that reflective kind of energy too. I'm always, it's because it's about the perception, I'm always going to be messaging to you, it, um, giving signs to you of encouragement, signs of, of the lasting love, the lasting affection here, the lasting reflection of me to Archangel Michael, someone you trust. There's always going to be that reflection there. I'm always going to be encouraging that, right? I'm always going to be encouraging you to see things the way that spirit sees things. When anything gets caught up, when new visitors and new things, unexpected things occur in this relationship, that, that I'm going to be that, that trusty one that, that can encourage you, that you can depend on for real, that, that you don't have to doubt anything, right? Because we're okay, regardless of what comes in, what tries to deter, what tries to, to tear it down, we a unit for real here. So whoever lurking, lurking. Okay, if you need to be removed, you can be removed because spirit has said, I've, 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 this spark that has, has been created here, this moment, this, this, this energy that, that spirit has allowed me to have, this encouragement that my divine feminine has given to me long before I ever entered the picture for real, because that's how you know it's divine. This work has been being done before you ever encountered each other. So Divine Masculine is still coming through the room, Divine Feminine. I don't know what else you want Divine Masculine to do, right? Um, these signs are definitely here. There's no need to doubt. Uh, Divine Masculine is coming through very, very aware of the fact. Um, that's why this is over to the side. Because this is like, uh, it's, it's like Spirit say, I don't know. I mean, Divine Masculine and Spirit is saying, I already dealt with this. Because we had that in our reading already. So I've already dispelled all, all, all of the things here that need to be cleared out. I, I just want to make you aware of the fact that, like, I got you, though. You, you have no need to doubt any of this. I got you. I'm, I'm going to always be giving you signs, right? But very good for you, Divine Feminine, because reality is um, what we have been doing. Stay in your lane, I feel, right? Uh, because there are there are some unexpected visitors, whoever they are, that are that are wanting to come in and 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 kind of instead of being the encouragement to to move forward with this divine masculine energy and in your own power and growth, this expect unexpected uh, visitor could be one that wants to cause more doubt to kind of seep into your space. So be very mindful of what it is you're going to allow yourself to hear. Are we going to hear the encouragement of spirit and divine masculine energy so that this spark can turn into a full-blown flame? Because that's what masculine comes in to do. It says, I see this and this is a beautiful thing. Let me help that to be expanded. Let me, let me make sure that gifting is protected in you, right? 
Let me make sure that all things are well and protected with you because the world needs this. How do I know? Because even when, when the masculine was in hangman position, spirit was speaking about everything about that divine feminine. So I know this spark needs to be procured. I know that this divine feminine has to be protected because I can see the wealth of what it is that she has to give. And so I want to be the one that makes sure that everything is a smooth ride so she can get that work done as much as she can. And, and because everything is reflective, the divine feminine is saying, hey, I, I, I didn't discover this. You courage, encouragement unto me and I unto you. This work in which I do has been to assist you long before we ever encountered each other. Did y'all see the reading yesterday when Spirit was talking about, you know, long before y'all ever met? I think it was something about the full moon reading. Part of that message was long before you ever even met each other, right? That's being reiterated here. Um, is there, uh, there's an ending of some things for some of you. Let that shit go. All right. Um, any more messages as far as where the divine feminine is going in this moment? What are, what are we going towards? Um, any more information, um, about where we are journeying to? Okay. Two popped out. So we've got ride the wave and we've got ghost lands. This ghost lands is connected all the way here. Okay. This is infinite time. Do you see? Compass, compass. Time, time. Do, do you see? This is an infinite thing. This is eight, right? That 17 reduces to, to eight. Ghost lands. That means a frozen thing, a thing in the past, a thing that has infinitely always happened. I, I've been here this lifetime and, and, and out of this lifetime. Spirit had me write a while ago and it was about being loved in and out of time, right? It was about me and karmic cycles and, and recognizing, uh, you know, with, you know, life and, and, and certain individuals and things that happen and, and repairing that, that, that healing space between the divine feminine and the divine masculine beyond man and woman. But the actual energies within your my own individual self, you know, is, is that realization at some point in time of like, you know, in and out of time, you know, the ancestor, uh, you know, Mother Maya Angelou came through and she was like, you know, he's loved you in and out of time. And I'm like, oh, really? This ghost land is speaking double fold. Okay. It's speaking in, in terms of eternal connection. That, that the divine masculine is again saying, hey, you needed a sign. I got another one for you. In and out of time, we have loved each other. Okay? But it's also speaking, like I said, twofold. So it's also speaking to these unexpected visitors, these haters, these ones that are trying to make you feel, uh, you know, more doubt in your space. This is a dead man's land, ghost lands. You know, you can't, you can't creep in here. This is something that's already been established. It's an infinite kind of thing. You can't come in here and do nothing. Didn't spirit just tell you all to go stay in your lane? Go on somewhere. Try and be in the reading. Get somewhere. Ain't got time for that. That's dead man's lane. It's sitting right here in protection. You can't even get over here into the reading. Archangel Michael and Divine Masculine is protecting everything about this Divine Feminine. Honey, you better stay in your lane if you know what's good for you. Ride the wave. Here's another five come through. One, two... Uh, three, okay? That's three fives. That's all things holistically. Mind, body, and spirit. That's divine masculine and spirit saying your entirety. I'll spend my entirety with you. I'll spend my entirety knowing your frequencies, the sounds, right? Dolphins are bringing up a lot of essence of frequency, of sound, of love, of wisdom. Building a thing. Creating a thing. Collectively. Ride the wave. We were meant to do this together. You ain't got to try to make this relationship perfect, Divine Feminine. You ain't got to try to make this opportunity perfect because it already is for you. Because it's already, it's an infinite thing. It's always been in and out of time. Is there anything else that, that would need to be said? Like, this is where Divine Feminine is. You were in a sweet space of, of understanding, a sweet space of, of gathering of self and really taking in all that Divine Masculine and Spirit is saying and really cultivating the, the power uh, and, and the might of what it is to be a divine feminine with a spark and continuing with it. This is a beautiful word of encouragement from um, the divine masculine, a beautiful message of where uh, the divine feminine is. I think it's testament to the divine masculine of 
what Divine Feminine is doing. And so this pairing is coming together uh, even more beautiful because it's not like I'm, I'm here by myself. The masculine knows I'm not in Hangman anymore. She is because she's awaiting my arrival. And she's not doubting. And and Divine Masculine is making sure nothing's coming in to make you doubt. Because I, I done hung out long enough. I done worked. I done studied this one right here. I'm trying to come in and scoop all that Divine Feminine. I ain't got time for it. So, you know, broke hoes, be quiet. Okay? <laughs> they over here. <laughs> you, you can't get into reading. Bye. <laughs> Spirit said, mind your business. Okay? Down here, this is what I use as, you know, our protection, our, our talisman. You know? Put it right on top. We done, right? We got black tourmaline over here in the cut. You don't got no say over here. So you don't even have to worry about that. Naysayers, anything to be doubted. Divine feminine, you are in your complete and utter power. And the divine masculine and spirit is so excited. But no one is more excited than what you're going to be the moment you open your eyes and realize that like, yo, I'm in the moment. You've been so in, this is the last message. You've been so in tune to yourself. The healing creating these sparks of life inside yourself and you didn't realize how much of a spark it was setting off for the divine masculine so he's coming in as a full-blown flame now he's gone from a spark to a flame and you've called in now what people like to call twin flame you see what i'm saying and now he knows exactly what frequency what ride what wave he need to ride because mind you that water energy that oshun coming through <laughs> yummy yeah that origin space, that feminine energy that I needed for in order for something to rebirth, newness. I felt your frequency pulled me in. I'm riding this wave. That's my divine feminine. And by the time you open your eyes, everything around you will encompass everything you've dreamed of, divine feminine. This is where divine feminine is going. This is this is the space along your path in which you've reached right now. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. We are really in a good space. So that's that, y'all. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand will be beckoned unto you. Remember in all this seeking, that you're seeking yourself first. And Divine Feminine is looking like you have, because when you open your eyes, you're going to see everything. Divine Masculine and all the things that you have dreamed about and things that you haven't, because your finite mind didn't even consider it. And Spirit said, I got you. Peace.